Hello viewers, welcome to Erim TV, the station where you watch, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is uh, Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are informed for lesson 5 and the topic is poultry production and the subtopic is brooding and rearing of chicks. On to the lesson objectives. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, define the term brooding. And then number two, highlight the types of brooding. And number three, highlight uh, the requirements in an artificial uh, brooder. Uh, what is brooding? Brooding refers to the process of rearing of chicks. And uh, we have two types of uh, brooding, and the first type of brooding is referred to as natural brooding method. In natural brooding method, that's why uh, uh, a hen that is a female uh, poultry is the uh, which is is the one which is supposed to be taking care of the chicks, or in other words, is supposed to rear the chicks, the young ones of uh, poultry, uh, what we refer to as a chick as far as hen is concerned. Then we have, uh, in the second method, we have artificial uh, brooding method. And in artificial uh, brooding method, uh, there is a machine uh, which a uh, house uh, containing uh, some, uh, some equipment uh, like a uh, source of it uh, there and also the feeder and also the water uh, they are supposed to be provided uh, for the chick where the feed are supposed to be provided to the chick and uh, in the course of uh, growth uh, uh, the entire process is now post is regarded to as artificial um, uh, brooding uh, method. Then uh, we'll go to the factors to consider uh, on selection of sources of chick. We have, we are supposed to get the chick from a source with a good reputation. That is the reputation of the supplier. Then we have the time factor. Uh, you are supposed to get the, 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 the chick from a source which uh, will provide or supply the chick and they are delivered on time. Then the second one, types of the chick are variable. Uh, you are supposed to uh, to uh, to select the source of the chick from a source. Uh, uh, if, for example, you want to keep uh, layers, you are supposed to select uh, the source that normally uh, keep. The layers only. Then we have uh, the transport cost. You are supposed to uh, to consider the distance uh, from where you are going to uh, get your uh, your chicks from, and so that you can uh, get the chick from a nearer source uh, because the cost of uh, transport will uh, become reduced. Examples of sources of chicks with good re reputation include uh, number one, we have Mogoko Pottery Farm. It is located at Kikuyu and the second one we have the Rake Chick Hatcheries and this is located at Kisumu. Then the third one we have Ken Chick uh, Pottery uh, Hatcheries and this one is located at Earth River uh, near Nairobi. Then we have the Sigma Surprise. Uh, this one is located at uh, Nairobi. And what are the requirements uh, in an artificial brooder? The first one is litter. You're supposed to make sure that before you bring the chick into, an, into, a, new re, uh, into a new breeder uh, or artificial, uh, uh, I, I mean brooder, uh, brooder uh, you're supposed to make sure that uh, the litter is well uh, available. Then the second one, ventilation. You should make sure that the artificial brooder is, has got a uh, uh, good ventilation which will allow the free circulation of air then number three uh, heat source you are supposed to make sure that in the week one uh, the temperature should be adjusted uh, between the range of 32 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees uh, Celsius. Then we have in week two, you're supposed to make sure that uh, the temperature is adjusted in between 29.7 degrees Celsius uh, and 32.2 degrees 
cell shells. Then we have uh, week three. You're supposed to make sure that uh, the temperature within the brooder is adjusted uh, in between uh, 26.6 degrees Celsius to 29.7 uh, degrees Celsius. Then you are supposed, number three, to make sure that there are uh, enough feeder and also number five, they are supposed to be enough uh, waterers. Feeders are the ones which you put the, uh, the, 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 the chick uh, mush, uh, the food which is meant to be consumed by the chick, while the water, those are the, uh, the vessels where you are supposed to uh, put clean water uh, for the chicks. Uh, then uh, we have come to the end of today's lesson and I'm going to mark this uh, uh, the, this end of this lesson by giving you an assignment. The first question, you are supposed to state any four requirements in an artificial brooder and number two, you state any two methods uh, of brooding and uh, for reference, you can refer from secondary agriculture student book uh, four and the publisher is the Kenya Literature uh, Bureau. For more information, you can reach us through uh, the following addresses. The first one, you can use an SMS using the number which is well uh, displayed for you. Then also you can use uh, YouTube uh, using Elim TV and also a uh, Facebook platform, you can use Elim TV and also uh, the Twitter, you can reach us at Elim TV underscore uh, KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Until uh, next lesson, goodbye.